Hi guys, it is Jen with Jen's Den Art, and today we are going to make a color chart. The way that a color chart works is you, um, you take your colors, and you can see that I have pretty much kind of like a rainbow effect of colors here. You take your colors that you have in stock, and this is close to a set of Liquitex colors that I purchased. I also have my black and my white, and I have a gloss medium. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a chart where I'm gonna mix these colors together and I'm gonna show you how to make this chart. And it's something that you can post in your, um, in your shop and it helps you with deciding on, um, on what colors you wanna mix together. So do you have to use the colors I'm using? No, absolutely not. You take the colors that you have in stock that you use a lot because you like those colors and you catch yourself using them a lot. So I am gonna start with my some of my favorite colors are crimson red, a burnt sienna, a yellow oxide, a cadmium yellow, a phthalo green, a Creulean blue hue, so it's kind of like a, I guess it's like a medium blue, an ultramarine blue, magenta, and a dioxinine purple, or dioxinine purple. Excuse me for mispronouncing some of these. I also have an ivory black and a titanium white, and I'm gonna try something with this gloss medium as well. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine major colors. And I'm gonna pull these off on the side. And I'm gonna show you how to make this chart. And then I have these three kind of like my extra colors for adding white to a color and adding black to a color and also adding a gloss medium to a color. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves a chart with, um, let's go nine, nine colors and then 10, 11, and 12 spots. So this is a 12 inch, this is a nine by 12. So I'm gonna go 12 inches, which, hey, this actually ended up working out perfectly and I didn't even realize it. So I'm gonna go um, 12 inches here. I'm gonna draw a line and every inch gonna put a mark okay. and I'm also gonna do the same thing from the top here now I have nine colors and I need a little bit of room to write so I'm actually hmm I probably should have made it a little bit smaller so I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go all the way to the All right, and then I'm gonna start writing in the names of my colors. So I have a crimson. Red. And then down here I'm gonna like crimson red. All right, and then next I'm going to have, uh, let's see my, okay, this one's next to the first, see And then 
I'm gonna go with a yellow oxide. And I have a cadmium gold. And next is my phthalo green. And cerulean blue. Ultramarine blue. Magenta. And then we are going to add a titanium white. Here, so here we'll show all of our titanium whites when we mix these colors with titanium white. And then we will also show when we mix these colors with black. This is an ivory black. Now, I'm not putting these colors on both because I don't need to mix the white and white, and I don't need to mix it like twice. So I'm just going to put these one time. So I have ivory black, and then I'll mix all of these with black. And then I have white, and I'll mix all of these with white. And then... Um, over here, I will go with the gloss medium. And this will only be once. Okay, so this one here is only once. And then the ivory black and the titanium white is only once. All right, so I'm going to start putting these colors on my palette. And I'm going to start with the crimson red. I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette. Then the burnt sienna. And let me show you what I'm doing. So crimson red. Burnt sienna. Yellow oxide. Dark gloss. Yeah, the same color. Yeah, blue. Yellow oxide. So now we go with our titanium white with our gloss medium. It's just going to make it more transparent. And then our ivory black with our gloss medium. Gloss medium and purple. So I'm gonna go straight down the gloss medium. And as gloss medium to my purple. So as you can see, it's kind of like almost adding water to your color to make it more like a, um, a watercolor 
when you add the gloss medium or just the medium it doesn't have to be a gloss medium that's just the kind I bought but it just makes it more transparent it makes your colors more transparent So it's a great reference for you if you are painting and you want a specific color. All right, so now let's go to mixing. Um, our next one, we're gonna go with our purple and we're gonna add black. So I'm gonna go to my purple and I'm basically doing like half and half. I'm gonna add just a little bit of black to it Yeah, but I see them and black make a lot longer, so that's what you see. And then, you know, of course, red. So basically, I'm doing like half to half. Okay, so this is what um, it would look like once you did the top half. And I added a black line. You can see the black line where everything on the top of the black line is the two colors mixed together. And on the bottom of the black line, is the two colors mixed together, including white. Okay guys, so I am back to finish our, our color chart. And um, what I wanted to show you was a shortcut that I, I just started using because it was taking so long to make this. So I wanna fill in this whole area here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my ultramarine blue um, which is right here okay and I need one two three four five I need six ultramarine blues so I'm gonna take the tip of it and I'm gonna put one two three four five six spots with ultramarine blue Cover that back up. Okay, now remember all of these are adding white. I'm adding white to all of these. So then I'm going to take my titanium white. <coughs> and I'm going to do the same thing next to each one. One, just about the same amount. And so now only have to unscrew one cover each time. So the first one I'm going to be doing is um, Cerulean Blue. Put that one down first. And then, oops, I will grab my paintbrush. I will put a little bit of water on it. And I'll mix. to make this color here. Okay. My phthalo green. D 
dip my paintbrush in the water. Ooh, that's a little bit too much water, but that's okay. Mix it all together. And then come put this on here. And then it's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to highlight, or I'm going to outline the main color. Since that's wet, I'm just turning it around so I can do this. So you can see that this is the main, this is the one color by itself and then above it is just the two colors mixed together and then below it is um, the two colors mixed together plus white so that's why I'm highlighting those and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it um, for my paintings and it's going to help me a lot to decide on what colors I want to add to my paintings. So you can do this with um, with so many different colors. I wouldn't use more than 10 colors across because it gets it's really time consuming so you can make some big ones or some little ones depending on how many colors you want to use. 
Um, so yeah, I thought that this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it, and I cannot wait to see your color charts.